Welcome to this introduction to the Oracle Policy Modeling Application Interface Rules, Data and Interview Views. In this introduction, I will describe to you how these views relate to the development of interactive interviews based on business requirements, complex policy and legislation. The Rules View is where you manage the rule documents in your project and launch the Oracle Policy Modeling Debugger. The top portion of this view, the command bar, contains commands to access the various features such as options to add, edit or delete Word or Excel rules documents or folders. The main view contains the rule documents list where you can see all of the folders and rule files in the project in a tree structure. You can invoke the Oracle Policy Modeling Debugger where, for example, you can test the logic of your rules to confirm that inputs match expected decisions. If any errors are detected in your rules, they will be displayed in an error pane immediately below the command bar. More information can be obtained by clicking on the error. The data view shows the full list of entities and attributes from all documents in a project. The top portion of this view, the command bar, contains commands to access the various features such as adding, editing or deleting entities, attributes and relationships. The mapping of entities and attributes to tables and to fields in a data source is managed from the data view. This enables you to design interviews that can precede interview data from a data source and save interview outcomes to the data source. You can access the entities in your project from the tree structure in the left hand portion of the view. The main view shows the attribute list for any of those selected entities. Global attributes can be viewed by selecting the top level entity in the entity list. The presentation of this list can also be controlled using the flat view and show controls on the command bar. The lower portion of the data view contains the relationship list. This shows the relationships for the selected entity. If any errors are detected in your rules, they will be displayed in an error pane immediately beneath the command bar. Further information can be obtained by clicking on the error in the list. The interview view is where you define the screens for an Oracle policy automation interview. You can also trigger the debugging of an interview from this tab. The top portion of this view, the command bar, contains commands to access the various features. For the interview in general, these include adding new screens and stages, defining goals, styling the presentation and debugging. For the current screen being designed, these include inputs, labels, forms, explanations and so on. The left hand pane displays a tree view of all of the interview stages and the screens they contain as well as the components that constitute each screen. The right hand pane, known as the screen layout view, shows the screen selected in the screen list and provides a visual representation of the screen being authored. You select controls in this view and modify them using the buttons in the command bar. Any errors that are detected in your interview will result in an error pane being displayed immediately below the command bar. More information can be obtained by clicking on the error. And that concludes the introduction to the Oracle Policy Modeling Application Interface Rules, Data and Interview Views. If you would like to know more about the Oracle Policy Modeling Application Interface, be sure to watch our Overview and Project View tutorials. We invite you to learn more about Oracle Policy Automation and stay connected with our active communities. Please take a moment to study this slide so that you'll know where to find us whenever you need us.